Hey everybody, um, didn't really do a lot today just because I was at work from two something till close and I had sort of a rough day. Um, but I did do a little touch up work on some of the rigs for a couple of the Flying Crank Ghosts and my um, rocking chair ghost storyteller. Um, and I figured, you know, I'll just plug them in and test them out and show you guys at the same time. So, bear with me. I haven't really uh, thought ahead on how to hold this and plug stuff in at the same time. So let's see. And not electrocute myself, you know. That would always be a good a plus. Um, we'll do this one first because it's, I guess, closer. This is um, the rig to the internal flying crank ghost, like I mentioned before. Um, this hangs this way. Hold on one second. This will hang like this um, with the motor down and everything and the big bar on it. This right here just um, rises and drops the uh, entire ghost up and down and then his arms and head are controlled by the motor and rig inside of him. Um, it gives it a really good uh, differential of, of movement so it's never quite the same um, you know, sometimes his head and arms will be up when he's at the bottom and vice versa. So it just makes it a little bit, a little bit more unique. Um, let me plug him in and make sure that, yeah, the power's off. Do, do, do. I can sing you a song while I do this. Plugging shit in. It's so fun. Okay. Anyways, I mean, uh, is this, yeah, it's all clear, I think. This has to be, like, perfectly straight, otherwise it'll clip it. And there it goes. Um, I have this one hooked up just to the 3.3 uh, .3 volt um, wires. And I, it looks like it should be fine. I haven't actually um, tested this out with the ghost on it. So there'll be a little bit more weight. Um, but I want him to go up and down pretty slow. I don't want him to move you know, much faster. So even with a little weight on this, I mean, it's not going to slow it down that much. Like, it'll probably slow it down about that much right there. And that's, you know, still plenty fast. So anyways, that's him. Oop, and I stopped it totally in the wrong spot. Hold on. I need it to stop more like over here. And go. Oh, it's like a fucking game. All right, this last try. See if I can do it. You stop it there. Oh, that's good enough. All right, that was entertaining. I uh, might want to unplug this first. Hold on one second, guys. You're gonna have to look at a look at a funky angle. I don't know what you guys are looking at. Hold on. Little uh wiper motor plug-ins have a like little waterproof plastic seal around them I guess it'll to hold them in tighter and man they are a pain in the ass to get in get out once they're in uh, all right time for number two which would be the <coughs> rocking chair rig and this one I actually had to do quite a bit of adjusting on because it just would not correctly push it um, this is going to be a little bit harder to film and do at the same time. Hold on. Um, because, obviously, this bar would be up, this main bar right here, um, connected to the rocking chair. So I kind of got to hold it up while I'm also turning it on and videotaping. So um, I'll kind of explain beforehand. Um, this uh, bottom bar was popping off because the rig has to be loose enough and move, have a little bit of give to it um, for the rocking chair. Uh, otherwise, when it spins around, it just tends to pop itself off. So I had to raise, I had to make a little like tape mountain almost um, so it could still spin around nice and easy on it. Um, and then still, you know, not flip itself off. So let's see, where's the on switch? All right. And see, this is the same 3.3 .3 volts. Um, try to get a little bit farther back. 
you know, and I think that is plenty fast for a rocking chair. Um, and also, obviously, just like with the other one, with a little bit of weight on it, it'll even slow it down a little bit more. Um, like, I don't want these guys moving very fast at all. But, so that's him, and obviously it's working, and it's staying on and not flipping out, so that's sweet. Let me turn that off once it gets back around. There we go. <clears throat> Just for storage-wise, I have to, you know, hit them at the correct time, because I... Right now these are being stored over by, between some bookshelves and a table, which I really need to move these somewhere better. I could probably take these over my parents' house or something. But, um, all right. Again, hold on. Another interesting view of whatever the hell you guys are looking at for a couple seconds. There we go. Hear that nice pop sound? Man, I think makes a good seal. Um, I have another one of these. Um, I think I showed it before. I just need to um, undo it from its little wrapper, um, like its safety wrapping and everything, just so it's bare wires. The, but, you know, same exact thing. So I'll have one. This box is actually going to control this. And actually, that's the only thing out here that this one's going to control. box is going to control this one and then the other, like, ghosts, the Lear ghosts and the, um, one of the other Lear ghosts and the one of the other wall breakers and I think that's it actually yeah and then the other box will control two um, ghosts inside the house I still I still need to get hey you guys haven't seen me yet today I have a hoarse voice and feel kinda crappy but hi um, I'm gonna still need to get all that wiring I haven't gone and bought the wiring the lamp cord um, which I'm probably gonna get like 20 feet 25 feet, 30 feet, somewhere in between there. Um, I kind of got to do some measuring at my parents' house. But um, final thing is, hold on, this needs to become unplugged now because I don't need to use the power box for it. Um, this is the rig for the uh, hooded flying crank ghost. Um, and I am I was happy that this guy had his own AC um, plug and everything so I didn't have to wire him up um, This rig is in two pieces right now It's where's the crossbar go this crossbar right here um, Gets attached to it. So you got left uh, hand right hand and then the body is right it goes right in the middle um, and You know that's for obviously lifting the left hand right hand and the body up and down duh um, but, let's see, can I position this without screwing up? This is like a brand new reindeer motor, um, that has never even been used. I think it was used maybe five minutes to test out the Ghost right when it was built. And, um, and then I, I tested it out like a, a week ago for like ten seconds. So this is almost a brand new reindeer motor, which is really nice. Um, so this ghost should have no trouble at all. And watch, now that I said that, this will have a fucking shit ton of trouble. But anyways, nice and quiet, nice and smooth. This uh, flying crate ghost is um, counterbalanced, counterweighted um, through a little pulley that's... Uh, oops, almost dropped the thing. A little pulley that's sitting on the edge of that table, you can probably see right there. Um, that the weight, if you guys don't know what that is, it goes down the back side of the ghost on a string... That just keeps it so um, the ghost can uh, move a little bit smoother um, up and down. It has just more of a, uh, I guess, the smooth is the best word to use for that. Anyways, it just helps with the movement of it. Um, and uh, that's that's the amazing motor spinning around in a circle there. Hold on. I'm going to unplug it. And bam. Now the reindeer motor kicks ass because it stops right where I wanted it to. Alright, so that's about it. Um, they're all working, and I just, like I said, I just need to get the lamp cord to wire up the ones that need it. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm in less than a fantastic mood, and I didn't do a lot today because um, I got offered at the last minute to do um, a tour, an Asian tour, that I really wanted to do, but... I just can't make it work um, with my current job and stuff, and it was like I'd have to be 